Good morning ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is your boy Milak and welcome back to my channel, The Jack of All Trades. For those of you who are visiting my channel for the first time, I would like to welcome you from the bottom of my heart onto this beautiful platform. And for those of you who are my regular viewers and subscribers, thank you. Thank you because your views, your comments and your likes motivate me. They push me and tell me, Manak, you have to do better from your last video. You have to make something more interesting, more entertaining or more knowledgeable for your subscribers. And I promise you, I may be new to this platform, but I will leave no stone unturned to catch up with other YouTubers present out there. So moving on to the subject of today's video, I would like all of you to pay attention to this video that I have uh, putting in the description box. This is a video in which I have tried to tell the students how they should start their preparation for the placement after the end of this pandemic or maybe when this pandemic eases down a bit. So please go to this video and check it out for yourself. In this video I have also tried to tell you that in the coming, uh, coming days or coming weeks I will come up with videos that are more branch specific that are focused towards core branches. So fulfilling that uh, that promise that I made you. Today I have uh, I have tried to shoot a video on specifically focusing upon the electronics and communication branch. For the students of electronic communication or maybe in that matter for any branch that is related to the electronics, I have tried to explain you that what are the opportunities that are present for the students of electronics and communication in the core industry, be it public sector, be it private sector, be it government sector or any other placement opportunity. How the students should uh, you know, catch up with those opportunities and what are the core subjects that they should learn in order to secure a job for themselves. So please be with me till the end of the video because I will try to explain to you some good interesting things that you may not come across anywhere else. So uh, I request you to be there at the end of the video till the end of the video and if you like it do like and subscribe and also share the video to your friends. Because this is something that I am telling you from the past experience of around 7 to 8 years. How the industry has changed. Because this is something I do daily, talk to the college students, talk to professionals. And by making this video, I am trying to share this thing with all of you so that I can help you to go through or secure a better job for yourselves. So let's begin. When I am talking about ECE engineering, I am taking the following branches in respect of it that is instrumentation engineering, electronics and telecommunication engineering, electronics and communication engineering and maybe electronics and instrumentation engineering and of course electronics engineering. So when I talk about electronics there are basically two types of opportunities that are available to the engineers out there. Number one is in the hardware field and number two is in the software field. If I talk about hardware, again this hardware field is divided into three types. Number one is your research. Number two is your designing. And number three is your production field. If you compare all the three fields in respect of the salary package, then I will place research in number one, where you can easily attain a salary package of around one lakh also or maybe 2 lakhs also that is per month then comes designing the package scale of designing if you talk then can start from either 40,000 or 50,000 or maybe 60 also and if you talk about production the production package scale starts from 25,000, 30,000 and so on now if I talk about the software domain there are again three particular things that are available for the students number one is coding number two is the testing and number three is basically the solution architect that gives the complete solution of maybe hardware and software both now if I start with the research work then the research work includes uh, you know uh, developing some new concepts or maybe coming out of something new or some new products or some new innovations or new inventions etc etc the research work can be done using the embedded technology, the artificial intelligence technology, the machine learning technology, the VLSI technology. So this particular research work requires you people to go into some 
new tools or maybe come up with some new solutions that could uh, be related to the upliftment of social life of the people that could be related to the defense sector that could be related to the telecom sector or maybe IT sector or anything like that right so if you want to go into the research wing then you should have your uh, even in if in case of designing also you should have command over core subjects core subjects that you will be start learning from your second year onwards that include your analog electronics your digital electronics your uh, maths 1 maths 2 maths 3 maths 4 your control systems and your signal systems that is the core knowledge that you should you, you people should have in order to go into the research field the research field also can be divided into two categories in the with respect to the technologies available that could be embedded systems and that could be vlsi the vlsi is very large scale integration that is related to the chip design process and the embedded system is basically related to the chip programming process now if i talk about chip programming there are many microcontrollers that are available in the market that you can program on the basic microcontroller available it's 8051 that you can start with the pic is there the avr is there the arm is there the embedded linux is there and real time or operating system RTOS is also there then if i come to the current trend in the market this particular microcontrollers are related to one other technology that is iot internet of things you may have heard about internet of things in which how you can control your hardware appliances by developing a software and all if i talk about the re recent air conditioners or recent electronic devices that have been launched by leading leading electronic manufacturers in the company be it godrej be it uh, whirlpool or anything uh, sort of that in which godrej is giving an air conditioner that has a remote embedded with its android application from android application only you can be able to control the temperature of the air conditioner the direction flow of the wind and all so all the softwares that give you access to the control of the hardware in any form are related to the internet of things right so wherever you go onto the research field uh, where you come out of something innovative something new then this particular field be it in the hardware domain or be it in the software domain this will give you a rich salary package skill now if i talk about designing part the designing part also uh, you know uh, the research that you do on to this level if i talk about chip designing here you do a gate level research the gate the digital gates and all that you study into your digital electronics so if i talk about designing part the same research that you are doing for embedded system maybe developing a some product on the virtual platform such as matlab and uh, labview etc the designing part comes on to putting that knowledge that you have learned in the research work into the core uh, production market the initial step that you need to uh, launch a product before the market is research after the research is completed then it comes to the designing part so the designing also can be done upon the embedded platforms the vlsi platforms that are available or maybe in today's uh, today's uh, uh, technological world you are more uh, prolific or more moving towards machine learning programmings or artificial intelligence programming or python programming so this is again a design uh, field that is available for you if i talk about production then whatever field you are whatever uh, whatever the initial two things that you have done in the part of research and designing you apply the same in the mass product in the factory to uh, you know produce a final product the way it happens in the mobile phone factories or air conditioned factories or maybe in that way the television factories the tablet factories the laptop factories whatever the design or the core level knowledge that is uh, acquired in the research or the design part is put into the factory for the large scale process uh, see for example if you if you take uh, around 10 years back we used to work upon pentium 4 processors we used to work upon pentium 3 processors right but at this point of stage we have i5 i7 
okay dual core core to duo i9 also so all these uh, the all these uh, i9 or i7 or whatever the advanced uh, processors are that were uh, you know um, uh, you know they go they were going through the same process of research designing and then the production part the production of these all these processors were made so quickly or so easily because we have found many virtual languages onto which we can do the testing more effectively such as labview or such as matlab and other platforms that are available so this covers the hardware part the 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 packet scale maximum is in the research research domain but here you need to have the maximum knowledge of the core subjects and minimum is in the production part here you if a brief knowledge is also available with you the basic knowledge you can easily cut through in the production industry so this sums up your hardware options for the electronics engineers now if i talk about the software uh, options available so the, so the software options as per today's market trend that are available to the students are mainly related related to the coding the testing and as i told you the solution architect if i talk about coding there are various uh, languages available if i uh, if i start from the languages that are available with us from last 10 to 15 years then i will include java there that is the most secure programming language available with us but the current industrial term and the current industrial trend is moving on to python programming this is the most important language as per the current trend that is available in the market and apart from python the the advanced application of python is you know machine learning artificial intelligence and data science now a data scientist gets a package of around 20 lakhs or even 30 lakhs starting also if it if he or she is efficient in data science but to be more efficient or you know you can say excellent in data science you have to have 101 percent of knowledge of python and one one percent knowledge of machine learning and it would be better if you go for an international certification so that you can test the knowledge that is available for you in the field of python or data science in that sense maybe in the field of java also many international certifications are available from oracle that you can go for the java and if i talk about the java domain again you have an additional to that is android the mobile application and again internet of things again i have discussed internet of things in the hardware part so if you talk about coding in the next five years i would not advise you to concentrate or focus on any other language except from java or python i would highly recommend you java or python there are other uh, other uh, uh, software uh, languages also available such as php is there web designing is there angular is there mean stack is there right but these are majorly focused towards the cs and it students even java is also focused towards cs and it students but java is the only programming language which was designed basically for the electronic devices if you install java uh, you might have noticed or not noticed but next time whenever you install java please notice it that it will show you that the java is currently running on xyz electronic devices so i will being an electronics engineer i will request you to focus on not uh, focus on on java python machine learning artificial and data science artificial intelligence and data science if you are concerned with coding if i if i uh, move towards testing then every company has its uh, standards for testing it could be automation testing or it could be manual testing right so uh, these are some of the options available for the software programming part and if i uh, you know focus upon the job opportunities available i can divide the job opportunities into three domains basically or majorly two domains that is the government sector and the private sector in government sector you have an option of giving gate exam and qualifying into the iocl or maybe bpcl etc or maybe uh, filing up separate examination forms for admission into drdo isro bel bhel etc 
right so you can find out about the gate and drdo etc exams directly onto the websites of the uh, government organizations here you will get a very good packet scale but the growth is not exponential there is a stable growth suppose you will be getting a packet scale of 10 lakhs through gate then maybe next year you will be uh, getting an increment of 60000 70000 maybe 1 lakh right so it is a stable growth but as far as private sector is concerned private sector has no limit of growth here the competition is a major factor you can start your life with 3 lakhs and end up at 4 lakhs per annum but if you uh, have a very good knowledge and a very good skill set up with you then you can start your career with 3 lakh and you can also reach 2 CR or maybe 3 CR also as part of your career growth so it uh, totally depends upon your knowledge many of your parents might be working in the government sector with a retirement age of around 60 years but have have any of you heard about retirement age in the private sector no because there is no virtually there is no retirement age of private sector as long as you are fruitful to the company as long as you are uh, you know uh, giving good results for the company they will hire you and they will uh, you know um, take you along with them at a very good package scale that is uncomparable to any other in the market but the day the private company uh, you know uh, feels that you are no longer productive or no longer getting good results for the organization they may fire you or they may tell you to leave the um, the company that's the truth of life the private sector there is no limit of packet scale there no age duration but the growth is exponential but again if there is a technology shift in the market you never know but in the government sector there is a stable growth and the job security is there the respect is there maybe the packet scale is you know, less than as compared to private but then you will have immense respect among the masses among the colleagues uh, so the choice is totally yours what you want to do and again destiny also uh, favors you or not to go into a government or a private sector but keep working hard and keep you know filling up forms keep practicing keep improving your aptitude keep improving your communication skills many of the students don't, don't pay attention to communication skills also but let me tell you that is the major factor that differentiates you from the selection and rejection uh, strengthen your aptitude because a person who has a good aptitude is logically a good programmer also so i would uh, like to request you to take up aptitude test series available in the internet and practice upon your communication skills and this is the same maybe i can do a separate blog to tell you how you could practice on your communication skills but this blog is getting too long so i would like to sum it up here the software and hardware part i have uh, covered I have also covered the type of jobs available in the market, the sectors and the packet scales and all. So still if you have any doubts or queries you can uh, always go to the comment section and leave a question for me and I will be very happy to answer that. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you have come up till this stage, I know that you found something useful for you. So I request you to share it among your uh, friends in the electronics domain. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I promise you in the coming uh, days I'll try to make some more videos for some more core branches of the engineering domains. Till then, see you, good night, take care, stay on, stay safe. I'm signing off. See you tomorrow. Bye.